So for today, day three of the snow globe jars, we're gonna be making the sashing stars. So what that is, instead of just having straight sashing all the way across and all the way down, it's going to have a cornerstone where all my sashing intersects around each snow globe. And then on the sashing strips in between, it's going to have little star points. Some of mine are gonna be need to be four sided and some of them are just gonna have one side or two sides, I guess, two corners. So. Um, to get my star points. So let me get my little diagram and my ones that I already have complete so you can see what I'm talking about. So since I enlarged this pattern, I needed to figure out how many of each that I needed. So here's my little map and it's got all my X's are my snow globes and then my green lines are the sashing and then these little dots in between are the center point of that square or yeah, I mean the center point of the star. So those are gonna be the little red squares that I cut earlier, not the smallest red squares, to the ones that are, that are gonna be the, I think, same width as the sashing. So as you can see, these are just gonna end up at the top here. There's gonna be, hopefully I have enough fabric for a border all the way around. So these, this top row, and then basically the perimeter is only gonna have those star points on the inside while the rest of these are gonna have star points on both sides. So I needed 28 of these because there's eight stars, eight, because there's eight snow globes across. So seven in, in betweens and then, so seven, 14, 21, 28. And then all this middle inside, I think eight times six, 64, um, something like that. So I went ahead and I made all of these ones because it wasn't very exciting. So I made all the two pointed ones. So these are gonna be on the outside. And then I made one of the intersections so you can see what they're gonna turn out like. So this is what I'm gonna be making. And I'm gonna go ahead and make the long strip pieces of sashing that are gonna go in between so that for tomorrow's video, we are just ready to put out our snow globes, make everything all spread out and ready to go. So, so I'm gonna have star points all around with this nice red grunge and it's gonna be so bright and happy and cheery. And I think it's gonna be so cute with our little snow globes. So. I'm gonna start snowballing a bunch of corners and hope for the best because there's lots of them. So we're gonna, not much sewing I think in this video, but it'll be a short one, a quick one, and we'll be on to the next one soon. All right, so a little bit of story time before we get to the next spot. I way botched up my math. So I need 56 of these strips all together. And for some reason, I multiplied 56 by two when I was cutting these. And now I have twice as many strips as I need. So I only needed 42 of the double-ended ones and then 28 of these, which would get me to 56 because that's what I needed. Six, uh, seven times eight is 56. Um, if I did my math right. And so now I've got all these extras, all those extras. Those are my squares that I haven't used yet, but I probably have extras. And so I have enough to do another quilt, but that'll be the reason why my borders are short. Um, so I may, I have a chunk left, but I may have to use some of these chunks to make my borders. Um, so that's gonna be, um, in video like four or five, no, video four, tomorrow. Um, once we finish all these, when we come to borders, those are gonna come into play. And so I'll probably won't have as big as a border as I wanted, but it's now time to trim these up and start making my rows of sashing.
So I made my one full strip and then set these all out to make the next ones. And what I thought was way too many is actually going to be enough. So I need to go ahead and keep continuing on putting these little red corners on um, because I only have two left over to do my vertical sashing. So I'm gonna keep going with those and finish these up so then tomorrow we can put this together because right now, can't do that. After all my math chaos, I've got all my strips now, my sashing that goes around the edges and my sashing that'll then go in the middle. So now we are all ready to get to business tomorrow and put this snow globe quilt top together. So I'll show you these little details up close and then we'll be back tomorrow to make this quilt top.